Varys has a very dark and mysterious past. He was born a slave in Essos, but was purchased for an exorbitant price to a sorcerer. It was here where he was castrated and utilized to fulfill a vision for the Lord of Light. Varys specifically remembers the flames turning blue and a voice screaming something in response to the sorcerer. This has changed the course of Varys' character, and Varys has ever since hated the use of magic and those who practice it. As a boy, I traveled with a troop of actors through the free cities. One day, in Mir, a certain man made my master an offer too tempting to refuse. I feared the man meant to use me as I'd heard some men used small boys, but what he wanted was far worse. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, yet did nothing to dull my senses. With a hooked blade, he sliced me, root and stem, chanting all the while. He burned my parts in a brazier. The flames turned blue, and I heard a voice answer his call. I still dream of that night. Not of the sorcerer, not of his blade. I dream of the voice from the flames. People who have visions in flames have a specific part to play in the war to come. Melisandre has seen specific prophecies about critical future events, whereas the Hound was given access to the flames to see a mountain in the shape of an arrowhead. The Lord of Light provides visions in the flames to individuals who have a crucial role in the war to come. And the same thing can be said for Varys. The Red God could be a being in the sky or a man under a tree, but whoever it is, it doesn't really matter. What's important is that it allowed Varys to see into the flames and it ended up changing the whole course of his life. And that's because the screaming in the flames wasn't meant for the sorcerer who took Varys. It was meant for Varys himself. Everyone is what they are and where they are for a reason. Terrible things happen for a reason. Take what happened to you, Lord Varys, when you were a child. If not for your mutilation at the hand of a second-rate sorcerer, you wouldn't be here, helping the Lord's Chosen bring his light into the world. Once I had served the sorcerer's purpose, he threw me out of his house to die. I resolved to live, to spite him. I begged. I sold what parts of my body remained to me. I became an excellent thief and soon learned that the contents of a man's letters are more valuable than the contents of his purse. Step by step, one distasteful task after another, I made my way from the slums of Mir to the small council chamber. Knowledge has made you powerful. But there's still so much you don't know. Do you remember what you heard that night? When the sorcerer tossed your parts in the fire? You heard a voice call out from the flames, do you remember? Should I tell you what the voice said? Should I tell you the name of the one who spoke? Varys knows what was said in the flames, and it has been a constant fear in driving him his whole life. With his rise to power, he maintained a strong hatred for sorcerers, magic, and red priests. All while maintaining his vision for a better world built on Targaryen rule. Tell me something, Varys. Who do you truly serve? The realm, my lord. Someone must. What is it you want, exactly? Peace, prosperity, a land where the powerful do not prey on the powerless. Varys has always had a consistent motive. He has always been a man for the people and works for the realm, not for the kings who sit on the throne. But his ability to do what's best for the realm conflicts with his constant push for Targaryen rule. In the very beginning, Varys conspired with Illyrio to get Viserys on the throne. Even though he wasn't the best for the realm, Varys ensured he had the Dothraki army by his side. After Viserys' death, he pushed the support to Daenerys. His irrational support of Targaryens has gone against his motives before. His traumatic experiences as a child is the only explanation to explain him veering away from his core values in order to produce a prosperous realm. He may be a bastard Targaryen born in Lys, or maybe it was just the voice in the flames. The point is, is that Varys has always been loyal to Targaryens, and it clearly outweighs his desire to produce a better world. He will always choose a Targaryen, but he still wants to fulfill his key objective in producing a better world for mankind. Luckily, Daenerys fulfills this. Before I came to power, 
You favored my brother. All your spies, your little birds. Did they tell you Viserys was cruel, stupid and weak? You wish to know where my true loyalties lie? Not with any king or queen, but with the people. The people who suffer under despots and prosper under just rule. The people whose hearts you aim to win. If you demand blind allegiance, I respect your wishes. Grey Worm can behead me, or your dragons can devour me. But if you let me live, I will serve you well. I will dedicate myself to seeing you on the Iron Throne, because I choose you. Because I know that people have no better chance than you. Daenerys is the best person for the realm. She is a Targaryen and has proven to fight for the people. She does not want to be another spoke on the wheel. She wants to be the dragon that breaks the wheel. She is the true ruler for everyone and she has Varys' support even though the dragon in her has him concerned. She gave Tali a choice. A man who had taken up arms against her. What else could she do? Not burn him alive alongside his son. I am her hand, not her head. I can't make her decisions for her. That's what I used to tell myself about her father. I found the traitors, but I wasn't the one burning them alive. I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly them to the Red Keep. We've discussed this. My enemies are in the Red Keep. You need to find a way to make her listen. Daenerys is not her father. And she never will be. With the right counsel. The people who follow you know that you made something impossible happen. Maybe that helps them believe that you can make other impossible things happen. Build a world that's different from the shit one they've always known. But if you use them to melt castles and burn cities, you're not different. You're just more of the same. With Varys' vast web of connections, he missed one key detail. That there is one more Targaryen. This Targaryen is the legitimate heir to the Iron Throne. He was raised by Ned Stark to remain true to his honor and integrity. He has always been put in positions of power because of the people, even though he never asked for it. And this is the best kept secret in the Seven Kingdoms. And if this information reaches Varys, he has the tools and resources to choose the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. What is it you want exactly? Peace, prosperity, a land where the powerful do not prey on the powerless. And perhaps we've grown so used to horror, we assume there's no other way. The Seven Kingdoms need someone stronger than Tommen, but gentler than Stannis. A monarch who can intimidate the High Lords and inspire the people. A ruler loved by millions with a powerful army and the right family name. Ferris's vision in the flames will come true. Just like the flames, his support will change from a red flame to a blue flame, from fire to ice. This blue flame is what Varys has been seeking his whole life. A king that will not support the red god and the magic it produces. A king that is not impulsive and acts strictly in the vein of honor. A king that doesn't want to be king, but takes it as a burden to better the people. And a Targaryen that doesn't use fire and blood and Varys' choice will ultimately lead to his demise. I will return, dear spider. One last time. My lady. I have to die in this strange country. Just like you. If you ever think I'm failing the people, you won't conspire behind my back. You'll look me in the eye as you have done today and you'll tell me how I'm failing them. I swear it, my queen. And I swear this, if you ever betray me, I'll burn you alive. He promised he wouldn't conspire behind Daenerys' back, but it is inevitable. Jon is a better king for Westeros. And it's not because of the person that he is, it's because of the circumstances that surround him. He is the most experienced in dealing with the White Walker threat, and will naturally gain followers as he always has. And Daenerys has already lost the majority of her allies in Westeros, as well as the respect of the people. Her only allies are loyal to Jon. And if they had to choose between Daenerys and Jon, they would choose Jon every time. The only people that are loyal to Daenerys are from Essos. She has the Dothraki. She has the Unsullied. But now she's in a different territory, where Jon Snow is her biggest threat to being Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. 
And to make matters worse, there's one giant secret looming over Westeros that puts Jon's legitimacy to the Iron Throne over hers. So Daenerys is losing this battle she cannot control, and that's the politics of Westeros. And for this reason, Varys will back Jon Snow, and for this reason, he will lose his life.